A 10-year-old golden retriever named Rio found himself in a situation where his life was suddenly turned upside down. After his owner died, he lost everything he had and everything he was used to. After living in a cozy home with a loving owner, Rio suddenly found himself in an animal shelter with complete strangers, writes Newsner. When Rio's owner died, the dog was taken to a shelter in Detroit, Michigan. But when Rio arrived, the staff realized something was wrong with him. The dog refused to eat, wouldn't let anyone touch him, and just sat in the corner, staring at the wall. After ten years with his owner, Rio was confused and heartbroken. He couldn't understand why everything he was used to and loved had been taken away from him. Now he was just another stray in a frightening and unfamiliar place. Rio hung his head and didn't seem to want to live. Even though Rio was transferred to a special dog sanctuary, his condition continued to deteriorate. Rio had completely lost the will to live. He would not respond to anyone calling his name. He would not look at anyone. And all day long, he would just sit in the corner of the enclosure and stare at the wall. A sanctuary worker called Christina knew the only way to help Rio was to find him a new home. After a few phone calls, she got in touch with a volunteer called Ryan Callahan and his wife, Tasha. After telling them Rio's story, the couple had no hesitation in taking Rio in. Even though the couple already had two dogs of their own and a foster dog, they decided to adopt Rio. When Rio arrived at the Callahan's home, he immediately showed signs of improvement. For the first time in a long time, Rio was not afraid of people touching him. It was as if he realized that Ryan and Tasha wanted to help him. It wasn't long before Rio was lying quietly at Ryan's feet and jumping into his lap with eyes full of joy and gratitude. Rio has been through a lot, so the shelter staff and the Callahans want to make sure that the dog, who is still grieving for his owner, is ready to find permanent owners. In the meantime, the Callahans have definitely helped Rio feel better.